Hello everyone, so today's question is if x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 be the three points on the parabola y square is equal to 4x and normals at these three points meet in a common point then we have to prove x1 minus x2 upon y3 plus this plus this similarly this pattern is equal to 0. So I'm going to start with the equation of the parabola y square is equal to 4x. So I'm going to sketch y square is equal to 4x. First let me draw the rough schematic. This y square is equal to 4x. Now I'm going to select any three points on this parabola. Randomly I'm going to select. Let's say this point is A is x1, y1. Similarly, let's say B point is here. That is x2, y2. And let's say C point is here. x3, y3. And let me name them parametrically also. So this is T1. You, call, you can call this as T2 and you can call this as T3 here. So these are the parametric names. Uh, now if I draw a normal here at A, it will be something like this. Normal at B will be something like this. This is 90 here. This is 90 here. And normal at C will be something like this. And all the normals are passing through a common point. That is the point. That is, let's say P point is H comma K. This is our point. Now, we need to prove that uh, this expression, this expression, this expression, this expression is equal to 0. So, let me start with the points. So, we have three points here. The first point is, you can call this point as uh, x1, y1 and parametrically if you want to write this is a t1 square comma 2 a t1. Similarly, b point is x2, y2 that is a t2 square comma 2 a t2. Similarly, I can write the c point that is x3 comma y3 as a t3 square comma 2 a t3. Now, uh, after this, I'm going to write the equation of normal. So, equation of normal at any point t, at t I'm writing. So, equation of normal is y is equal to minus tx plus 2at plus at cube. Similarly, if you want the equation in slope form, you can replace m with minus t here or t with minus m. So, you'll get mx minus 2m minus am cube here. There's no problem. You can write in slope form. I'm writing in parametric form right now. Now, since this normal is passing through h comma k, that point P is the common point. I'm going to sub, uh, here substitute this point h comma k because, because this line is passing through this point. So k will be equal to minus th plus 2at plus at cube here. Now I'm going to make a cubic in t. So we'll get this as at cube here. And then the coefficient of t is 2a minus h into t. And then minus k on the other side is equal to 0. Now, if you notice here, we are getting a cubic in T. That means here we are having three solutions of T. That is T1, T2 and T3. So, using this, I think we can write the sum of T1, T2, T3. Here I can write sum of T1, T2, T3. That will be equal to 0 because coefficient of T square is clearly 0 here. And next is summation of T1, T2. That is summation of continuous product taken two at a time. I think that will be equal to negative times coefficient of T. That is... Uh, sorry, positive times only, 2a minus h and divide by a here. Similarly, in the same manner, t1, t2, t3, the product I can write this as k upon a. So, these are the three results which I'm going to use in the next slide. Now, let's calculate the value of the given expression and here we have the three results. So, I'll be using these three results. So, here we have x1 minus x2 upon y3. So, I'm going to use the parametric form that is a t1 square minus or let me take the a common. I can write this as t1 square minus t2 square whole divided by y3. So here y3 is 2at t3 plus next expression is a times t2 square minus t3 square whole divided by y1. So y1 is 2a t1 plus similarly here we have a times a sorry t3 cube sorry square minus t2 t1 square whole divided by here we have 2a t2. Now I think here a, a everywhere will cancel out. I can easily cancel out a. And here we can take 1 by 2 outside. Remaining is I can write this expression as t1 minus t2 multiplied with t1 plus t2. And whole thing divided by I think t3 only. Plus next expression is t2 minus t3 multiplied by t2 plus t3 here. The same thing I'm going to do with the third term. 
plus here we will get T3 minus T1 and then T3 plus T1 whole thing divided by T2. Now this is a very important point here. All you have to do is little manipulation is there. See here T1 plus T2 plus T3 is equal to 0 is given. Now here I think T1 plus T2 since T1 plus T2 plus T3 is given as 0. So if I take two of them at a time, let's say like this here. So I think they will be equal to T1 plus T2 will be equal to minus T3. So I think this is minus T3 and minus T3 will cancel out, leave you a negative outside. Similarly, T2 plus T3, this expression will cancel out with T1 and leave you a negative outside. Similarly, T3 and T2 will cancel out and leave you a negative outside. So all in all, we have half times of T1 minus T2 minus times T2 minus T3 and then minus times T3 minus T1 here. So if you total here, you will get 1 by 2. Here you are getting T1 minus T1 and then minus minus plus T1. So I think these two quantities will cancel out. Similarly, here you are getting plus T2, plus T2 will cancel out with minus T2. Similarly, plus minus T3 will cancel out with plus T3. So here we are getting 0 and I think that's what we wanted to prove from the starting only this value is equal to 0. So we have proved it, this value is equal to 0 and that will be all.